better than 800 miles of beautiful white sand beaches and a climate favorable to their year-round use, Florida is indeed known as the nation's playground. Without a doubt, our beaches and climate are responsible for Florida's population explosion and an ever-increasing tourist industry. Their value to all segments of Florida's economy and the health and well-being of our citizens and out-of-state visitors is immeasurable. In the next few minutes, you're invited to spend a day on Florida's beaches. As the sun rises, people of all ages flock to our beaches in pursuit of recreation, relaxation, and entertainment. Along Florida shores, the warm salt waters of the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico, together with our sand beaches, are an irresistible lure to those desiring to swim or surf. Sunbathers are attracted from all over the nation seeking Florida's recreational opportunities. There's no better place for the youth of our state and nation to expend some of their limitless energies. You can walk endless miles along Florida's sun-kissed shores, or perhaps you may want to drive your automobile or ride a bicycle. Chances are, whatever type of relaxation you desire can be found on our beaches. Fishing is usually good along Florida shores. On a given day, anglers number in the thousands, and more often than not, are richly rewarded for their efforts. Along many of Florida's beaches, each passing tide brings in a new selection of seashells. Collecting these strange and beautiful shells is a favorite hobby and pastime for many residents and visitors. Surely we can all agree that Florida's beaches are one of our most valuable natural resources. Truly a paradise. But this paradise is in peril. Our beaches cannot be considered a permanent part of our environment. They are among the most vulnerable of nature's products. Under the relentless force of wind, wave, and current, they're constantly being eroded and reshaped often to the serious detriment of their most highly prized uses. Nothing along the seashore, natural or man-made, is entirely safe from the effects of erosion, which has become a serious problem along Florida's beaches. Over the years, measurable damages from beach erosion have mounted into the millions of dollars. Probably the greatest damage, the loss of valuable recreational areas could not be evaluated in monetary terms. In fact, at this very moment, better than 200 miles of our once beautiful beaches have been eroded to such an extent that they can no longer be considered a recreational resource. Man's efforts to halt erosion of his property and perhaps regain some of the sand that's been lost, every conceivable means have been tried. 
Our shores have been lined with massive rock piles to protect streets and highways, as well as upland development. In these areas, the beaches already are gone. In other areas, many groins of various types have been installed in an effort to stop erosion and perhaps rebuild the beaches. Generally, these structures have been unsuccessful. Groins and similar structures will not rebuild our eroded beaches. protect upland development, many miles of vertical seawalls have been constructed along our shorelines. These seawalls, if substantially constructed, will provide some measure of protection. However, when placed on the dry sand area of the beach or seaward from the vegetation line, they invariably contribute to erosion of our beaches. Many developers eager to utilize every available square foot of upland property for the construction of motels, hotels, and condominiums have enclosed their beaches with seawalls. Some buildings have been placed on the beach, thus destroying the one thing that made their property so valuable in the first place, their beach. Where seawalls are considered necessary, they should be located well landward of the dry sand area of the beach. Encroachment on beaches by seawalls or other structures which may result in erosion no longer can be permitted. The Florida legislature has recognized the need for statewide regulations to control development along our shorelines. 1970 session enacted a law prohibiting any construction within 50 feet of the mean high water line along our beaches. And they've directed the Department of Natural Resources to establish a statewide county by county setback line based on a comprehensive hydrographic study. hydrographic studies are now underway by the Department of Natural Resources and setback lines will be established at the earliest possible date. The state legislature has appropriated funds for the Department of Natural Resources to continue research programs to learn more about beach erosion, its causes and solutions. Technicians from the University of Florida's Coastal and Oceanographic Engineering Department, who are under contract to the Department of Natural Resources for this research, are using dyed sand in several colors to trace its movement along our beaches. This colored sand is deposited offshore in the wave zone. Later, samplings will enable our scientists to determine its movement under known weather conditions. Mm -hmm. 
After samples of this colored sand have been retrieved from adjacent areas, it is placed under special lights for separation of the different colors and actual counting. Much has been learned from this type of research. The Coastal and Oceanographic Engineering Department also conduct model studies on the effects of seawalls placed too close to the shoreline. Here, sea waves are being artificially generated in an effort to duplicate wave action along the shore. In addition to this research being conducted by the Department of Natural Resources, staff members make regular inspections of all our beaches to detect erosion problems and to ensure that shoreline activities are in compliance with state laws. The state legislature has designated the Department of Natural Resources as the agency responsible for coordinating erosion control activities among all concerned governmental agencies. These include the Board of County Commissioners of the several coastal counties, municipal officials, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. In addition, every possible effort is made to assist individual property owners who are experiencing erosion problems. The legislature has created a state erosion control account in the General Revenue Fund. Each session, they appropriate funds to this account for the purpose of giving financial assistance to locally sponsored erosion control projects. In establishing this erosion control account, they provided that state financial assistance may be given these erosion control projects up to 50% of the total project cost. Florida's beaches and shores must be protected and preserved. Every effort must be made to ensure that future generations enjoy these areas. Where the beaches have been destroyed by erosion, cooperative programs of artificial restoration must be implemented. Several such restoration projects have already been completed in Florida. In undertaking these restoration projects, large dredges must go offshore a considerable distance and pump sand back to our beaches. This is the beach before restoration. And after partial restoration. The dredge that pumps the sand. This is the floating pipeline through which the sand is pumped. And here the sand is being discharged onto the beach. This is the restored beach.
Here is another restoration project recently completed with project costs shown. This beach was eroded back to the trees in the background, but it has now been restored and once again can be used for its intended purposes. The sun settles over the horizon of the Gulf of Mexico along a West Florida beach. Our day on Florida's beaches is concluded with a typical family picnic. We have seen the beaches at their best, and we've seen areas where they've been destroyed. Surely every Florida citizen will want to join in our efforts to preserve this paradise. We in the Department of Natural Resources hope this film has impressed you with the tremendous importance of preserving Florida's beautiful beaches. Their value to the health, happiness, and economic well-being of each of us is unquestionable. Great efforts are being made to preserve our beaches and to restore those already destroyed by erosion. Some progress has already been made, but not nearly enough. We need the help of all Florida citizens if we are to be successful. Wouldn't you like to help by expressing your interest and concern to your local government officials or by writing to the Department of Natural Resources? We need your help.